Hi everyone, welcome to the official channel of ChatGenie Mini Apps. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button. I'm also inviting you to like our official ChatGenie Facebook page by hitting the like button. Today I'll be sharing how to create Messenger Mini Apps with ChatGenie. But before anything else, let's discuss uh, what Messenger Mini App is all about. Messenger Mini Apps allows businesses to provide frictionless checkout experience to their customers. So if you're familiar with Lazada and Shopee, it's basically same checkout experience but you're doing it inside Messenger. For businesses, it's free meaning uh, no upfront and monthly development costs. We just charge 10 pesos for each of every successful transaction and we're labeling it as convenience fee. Now to demonstrate how Messenger Mini App works, uh, we'll be trying a demo page called Erica Lee. So this is the page that we use for each of every demonstration to potential merchants that are interested to use mini apps for their businesses. In able to access Messenger mini app, uh, there are many ways on how to do it. First is, of course, clicking the send message button. This one. Second is by accessing the m.me links that Facebook Messenger provides. And third is by scanning the QR code. But since we're here, we're going to use this method. It usually starts with get started button. So the get, start, get started button is the opt-in button. It means that I'm allowing Erica Lee as a page to access my Facebook account. Here uh, we are seeing the introductory welcome message and then the button where it allows me to access the listing of the mini app. So here you'll be seeing a pop-up uh, on your mobile phone. It's basically uh, like a web view that's on top of the current conversation. For the Philippine market, uh, we have this options wherein we are loading uh, Metro Manila cities. So it's ba it's basically says that uh, the merchant currently allows um, all uh, cities listed here. If uh, your location is outside the selection, meaning uh, your current location is not yet supported by the merchant. So say for example, uh, well, I'm from Pasig and then I want to see the products that you're selling on your mini app. And then I can see here the typical catalog that I see on um, any e-commerce mobile apps. So here you see the categories, you see the listings inside the products inside uh, those categories. And then when you click it, you'll see the product page wherein uh, you'll see the, the photo of the product, you'll see description, you'll see the price, and then, of course, the cart button. If you like it, you just need to click the Add to Cart button. And then, of course, as you tap the cart button, it will be added to your cart. It says here that I already have one item on my cart. So let's say I, I want to check out with, with that item. I just added and then here one of the feature of the mini app is you can upsell so apart from this item I, yeah I, get, I want to I want to have it wrapped so you can check this button automatic the the gift wrap cost will be added to your cart and then check out so good, the good thing uh, about Messenger Mini App is it is true cross-platform, meaning as long as you have uh, 
messenger on your phone, desktop, laptop, tablet, then it will definitely work. So let's say I want to check out by providing my email, my mobile number, and then the street. So I'll just provide, you know, dummy street address. And then here you can provide your remarks. Let's say, for example, test only. Also, as a merchant, you can uh, select or provide the available shipping options for your business. So here, the merchant provided standard and one-day shipping express. So of course, as you select, the cost will update as well. And then payment methods. So what's good about Messenger Mini App is that whatever payment method that's available on other apps we can also offer it here so whether it is cod credit card bank deposit paymaya one of the digital wallets here in the philippines you can um, you can offer it as a merchant let's say for example this is the amount of my card and then i want to check out with that provide the change for amount and then pay if you're going to assess the experience it, it's like you are buying using a typical e-commerce mobile app but we actually didn't go out from the Facebook platform so from here I can actually you know, uh, copy this link if I want to share, you know, this experience that I had with my friends. I can do it by just copying it and then set it to the existing conversation that I have with my friends. Also here, you, as a customer, you'll see the receipt as a proof of the transaction. Of course, I can also see a receipt on my email same as you know uh, if you're buying online because you know it should be like the same experience as experiencing with other e-commerce mobile apps so there you go that's my name and then these are the information about the transaction that I just had. So what you just experienced, what you just saw, is the experience on uh, buying using Messenger Mini Apps. So now after seeing the experience on how to buy a product from a Facebook page using Messenger Mini Apps, we'll be proceeding on how to create your own Messenger Mini Apps for your business. For this demonstration, I uh, will be using my dummy business called COVID. So since that every business can't accommodate uh, dine-in experience, uh, they can only accommodate online orders. Now, since that I don't have any hotline numbers, I'll be using my page to accept online orders by allowing them to send a message to my Facebook page. To start, uh, we have key requirements. So first, we need to have the Facebook page of your business, which is this one, the COVID Facebook page. Second, the account assigned as admin of the page. In this case, this account. Third, the product and category list. And then fourth is the category and product photos. So now let's proceed. To start, we need to go to the Chat Genie platform, login link. You can find the login link on the description below. And then we need to log in using our own Facebook account. And then you need to allow, of course, 
ChatGenie uh, Messenger Mini app to access your page. And then we will proceed to the ChatGenie uh, landing page. So for your um, for newbies, uh, if you have an existing Messenger Mini apps, you'll see it here. But since that our purpose is to create a new one, we'll proceed by clicking the Create Mini App button. For businesses that has an existing Shopify website, then they have to choose this. But on our case, since we don't have any other website or platform, we have to choose this uh, e-commerce B2C bundle. Click the Create uh, button. And then here, we have to select the page that we just um, showed earlier. By doing this, you're allowing um, ChatGenie to connect the mini app platform to that page. And then here, let's assign a name. Let's say, for example, uh, COVID mini app. Then for the welcome page, this one, uh, the greeting, let's just use uh, hello. Thanks for checking us out. Click get started. And then here, choose, uh, let's say, a Tagalog welcome greeting uh, word and then welcome to our COVID shop online and then well I'll explain later we can change the welcome button and then assign the the email of the business owner and then once done, click next. So as I mentioned earlier, we have to have the photos of the categories. This one, I already have it here. So let's say uh, I'll choose this as the uh, cover photo for my milk tea category. And then put the description here, which you can change later on. Best milk tea in town. And then click next. Of course, after providing the categories, we have to put the product. Let's say, for example, this one. This is, a, I think, a winter melon milk tea. Winter melon flavored milk. And then, of course, the base price is the smallest one is 80 pesos. And then I, are, I only have 50 cups for this variant. And then I can choose a variant here. So for example, uh, it's not the colors that I have. I have, let's say, size as variants. So let's say medium and then large. So of course for medium, oh, I, I have to edit that. Then large. So for medium, I have to uh, add 10 pesos. For large, I have to add 20 pesos from the base price. And then here, I can just leave this as blank. Or I want to, let's say, I only have 20 cups for large. And then another 20 for medium. So I have the option to have product promo, but we'll discuss that later on. And then for the cart setting, I can just choose default for this one. I can change it later on. So for this one, I can choose express with this default fees and then click next. And then here I can choose, uh, 
payment methods that I can offer to my customers. 